been offended in God is not your problem. He said, blessed are they who are not offended in me. John was offended in Christ. He lost his head. Refuse to be offended in God. Refuse to be offended in God. He said to Jesus, are you the one to come on show you for another? You had them in the prison. You are all preaching about everywhere. He was offended and he was beheaded. Wake up. No one fights against God and prosper. God is not to blame. We just need to take responsibility. In the precious name of Jesus, you never suffer the humiliation of closed doors again. The paralytic man went through the roof because he must get it. You must get it this month. Zacchaeus climbed the sycamore tree to get at Jesus. You must get at him this month. My prayer is that no one here will end this month just as any other month. The month of May shall be the beginning of month for you. Very simple question. Do you want to be saved? Simple. Then repent. No one can repent for you. No one can repent for me. What shall we do? He said repent. And shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Repent. It's yours to repent. It's mine to repent. It's Jesus to save. Jesus can't save anyone until he's willing to repent. Do you want to baptize in the Holy Ghost? Then, be thirsty for him. It's your birthright in redemption. It's your automatic gift from God. You don't have to mature for it. No. He matures you. So, open up. And ensure, because from what you have heard in teaching today, you are limited. I'm limited without the help of the Holy Spirit. Access to the truth of God's word and empowerment for triumph is impossible without the ministry of the Holy Spirit. You will never be stranded. You will never be stranded. Do you want to walk in favor? Then be committed to kingdom advancement and divorce. If there is no two way about it. Seek ye for the kingdom of God. And all these that are dying to get shall be added to you. That is the story of your church. From favor to favor. My God. No struggle, no stress. From today I decree. No more stress or struggle on your life. No more stress or struggle on your life. The greatest event in your life shall be heat free. And shall be stress free. They had no wine in that marriage. There are many, many marriages that are wineless. Wine is finished. The joy of marriage is over. He said, whatever it tells you to do, what? Do it. Whatever it tells you to do, do it. A husband loves your wife as Christ loves the church, do it. Why well, submit your own husband as unto the, unto the Lord, do it. You won't do it. There's no way you can get wine back. But this time, wine will be restored to every wineless marriage. You want to work in financial fortune? You don't need to know anybody, sir. People have just come down to the nature. They have left their true realm. You don't need to know no man to scale any height. Just know God. Commit to covenant practice. No matter the circumstances on the earth, you will keep flourishing. You will keep flourishing. You will keep flourishing. You will keep flourishing. Can I tell you this? This ministry has never known one downward trend financially in 42 years. One down, no matter what goes on in the world, he said it will supply your needs according to its riches in glory. Your days of lack and want are finally over. So the ball is in your court and in my court. My prayer is that obedience of faith will change your story. Yeah. Every time you put God's word to work, you have committed them to confirm it. You shall be experiencing diverse confirmations of the word in your life.